Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing some 1-2 cash games. Before we do that, I wanted to give a, a quick point out to the stat updates on the left-hand side. So see, I've broke it down um, between uh, cash games and rakeback in tournaments. So cash games and rakeback will include all rakeback. Um, most of my rakeback is generated through cash games, some is technically through tournaments, but if I have to divide it one way or the other, putting it with the cash games makes the most sense. Um, and then if I am going to look at tournaments, tournaments is going to include all buy-ins as if I paid my buy-in. So for example, I played the 25k buy-in PSPC. Poker Stars put up my buy-in, um, but for tracking purposes on tournaments, I'm going to include all tournaments as if I paid my own buy-in. So that's how the stats will be up to date. Um, so now it's broken down for you guys, and let's jump into the games. So we have button open here, three bet aces. See the four bet, uh, some jamming, but small blind versus button, mostly flatting aces here. So go for the flat queen 10 4. Pretty wet board here. Probably just gonna be check jamming if they put out a C bet. Just over pot and a half here. Effective. So face the bet and I'm gonna stick to the plan here and jam. Going all in with the aces. Snap calls. Flop the top set. Yikes. Spade? Ah, can't get it. All right. Pretty uh, unfortunate there to start the day. So we raise king queen suited, small blind three bets here, go for the flat. And wow, we flop huge. <laughs> Open end a straight flush draw. So I mean in position honestly can kind of do anything here. I think mainly just prefer raising small to go with. But just flatting completely fine as well. So on the turn here, kind of interesting. I think I'm actually going to check back turn if it pairs a 7 like this. So it'd probably jam a lot of turns. I don't think this one we're going to in position. Can't be terrible to jam, but... Plan's going to be to go ahead and check back now. And then just going to play pretty honest in the river. So we do river the flush. And then if they check, have an easy jam. If they jam, easy call. So this river makes it pretty easy to play our hands. Good versus king nine here. They missed their draw. King queen good. Here we have button open. Three betting small blind ace ten. Back to the button here. Uh, we face four bet just folding. They do decide to call though. Interesting flop. So we flop the open ender with the ace high. I'm trying to think if I want to be check raising this one or not. I'm probably just going to go for a check call. Not sure though. So I'll just check call here. Take the turn. Turn the straight. Nice. Check. And then if they bet we call, and then River really just don't want to see a spade. Um, don't want to see a board pair either, but really don't want to see a spade or a 10. And then Jack and Leanne check. So lose to Queen 10 now, but chop with Jack 10 now. And obviously a pretty easy call, even if he overbet rips this. And good versus the ace five. So yeah, they loaded the straight. Definitely gonna make sense to go for value there at the five too. So pretty sick cooler going our way there. The ace 10. So we got cut off open here. Three bet the ace queen suited. And flop top top here. Go for bets. See a call five turn, bet turn. See the call for river. I know we improved, but I actually don't like this river card. Harder to get called by worse now. I think if I ever check to give them a chance to turn their hand into a bluff. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for bluff catch here on the river. And ace queen, ace queen. All right, so same hand, chop it up. So back to the queens. They put in a small raise here. And I don't think anything fancy. I think we're just going to get this in on the flop. Hopefully, it's like tons of jacks and we hold. See the call is 9-6, so it's top pair. And nice, we hold. Good pot with queens. So I go for a squeeze. Player goes call, call, flop, top set. Nice. Sometimes can slow play top set. I think if anything, if I'm checking this board in position, though, it might set off more alarm bells than anything. So we'll bet 10 of the turn. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything cute here on this turn card. There are going to be some bad rivers here. We bet call, eat river. That's one of them. Uh, top set we would probably call if he jams. I mean, shouldn't have much 6x. Man. Uh, I mean, like, what hand are they bluffing? 
Super tilting. I mean, this is like one of the few hands I call that's not the straight, probably. Ah. Worried people just aren't bluffing enough, but we are getting a decent price here. Shows the jack. Super frustrating. It's got button open here. Three by the ace queen. See the four bet. Not loving it, but we'll go for fly here. And then a flop the ace check. I think on this one of an ace high flop we can jam. We're not gonna be check raising or check jamming a ton of our like ace queen stuff here. <laughs> but uh can still get called by like the ace five, ace fours as well as their like combo draws. So go for jam. And see the call is ace king. Quite the cooler in a four bet pot. And lose that one. Here we have under the gun open. Three bet kings get called. Jack six four flop. Go half pot here. So bet call five turn. So we are a bit deeper. Seven eight comes in, which is a little concerning. I think we still want to value about the turn though. Uh, they decide to lead. Okay. I call here and they jam. I'm going to want to puke, but I think just go for call turn. Um, hmm. Seven makes a straight. I mean, the thing is, there's no flush on the flop return for them to have either, is kind of part of the problem here. Um, let's see, they could have sets that are leading that I think still can go for value on the river. That's 50. I think I'm going to call here, hoping that this jack acts just enough here. But I do think we're going to get shown a set pretty often. Or maybe like a two pair, like a 6-5. But getting four to one, they end up having like a set or two pair. It's a nice bet from them because it's kind of like milking me for the most I want to pay here. But yeah, they show Jack-10. I was hoping this, they'd have some Jack-X there. So Kings are good. So yeah, if they ever have Jack-X there, like I don't think we want to be folding getting four to one. So yeah, button open throughout the aces. Four bet. Or bet. Yes. All right. So some jamming here, but mostly flatting. Mostly flatting. Oh, wow. We flopped top set. Nice. Even better. So just going to be a check call here. Two diamonds turn check. Check, check. Trying to think here. I think we want to play some block sizes, and then I think when we block, it's like 10%. This will do some jams. Also get the calls from the medium pairs. They're just going to check back. So I think it makes sense to play your trap as like your monsters here, blocking a lot of the value. So get it in. King, Jack, Bluff, Ace is good. So we got open, flat, flat, squeeze. So I see a call. They're a bit shorter as well. A lot of money in here. So we flop the gutter with the ace high flush draw. Just going to be betting here. And then turn. I'm probably jamming any turn. But if we hit the flush, I'll actually probably check. This one here. So non-clubs we get in. They just jam. So we'll get it in on the flop. Has jack. Sorry. So we're actually a slight favorite. Ah, it doesn't do us any good though. We lose the jacks. Suited. Ooh, we're going to go down here. Open nines under the gun. Big blind puts in a smaller three bet we call. So we flop the set here. Uh, checks to us, definitely worth a bet. And then turn king. That turn as well. Hoping they have like an ace, king, ace, queen. Hopefully not set of aces, set of kings. I actually don't really like this turn card. I mean, hopefully it's ace king, not aces or kings. All right, hold. Yes. Very nice. We got small blind opens big. Three bet. They snap call flop the boat. Nice. We're going to go for the trap here. Um, Against an unknown, I'm going to go for the trap. Normally, I would be betting this for like half pot. Maybe I should like bet half and then just chuck turn. But anyways, bet snap calls. And I think just over pot, we're going to go for jam targeting exactly a 10 here. Or do I check to induce some missed draws, actually? All right, I'm going to go ahead and jam here. Actually, maybe you should just check this one and hope that they would bet their 10x. Uh, they have pocket jacks. Wow, so nice hand. Eights win a big one. 
All right, YouTube, that wraps up the results here for the session on May 22nd. So taking a look back at it, we had 3,413 hands minus $674. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the hands. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.